Aghalabu uwanja wa michezo wa hayati William Olentimama uloko mjini Narok usheheni shughuli za spoti ila mambo ni tofauti siku hii. Mwendo wa asubuhi Jumapili maandalizi ya kliniki ya kuhamahama almarufu Beyond Zero ya Nanoga. Pilka pilka hizo zikiwa za kutayarisha sehemu na vifaa vya kutoa vipimo vya afya pia matibabu bila malipo. Mwandalizi ni kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato la Narok New Life. Ninaitwa Morin uh, Makori. Uh, mimi ni muguzi by profession and um, I'm a, an Adventist. I go to Narok New Life Church. Uh, we are glad we are here today. We have a free medical camp that was organized by our church under the health ministry. Shughuli hiyo iliendeshwa kwa utaratibu wa kipekee. Baada ya wanajamii kuwasili walielekezwa na wataalamu wa afya kisha kukawa na maombi mafupi kabla ya wote kuelekea uwanjani ndio kukuruka kara za wananchi ambao wamezawadi muda na siku hii kwa afya yao kiba kibandu wa kiba kibandika wanatembea asti asti pindi wakaanza kuzunguka uwanja mara kadhaa akina dada wakiwa mstari mbele waume nao wakishika doria watoto nao hawajaachwa nyuma kambumbu ndio dawa yao kadri dakika zilivyo katika ndivyo watu walivyoongeza kasi wengine wakiiga mbwembwe za wanariadha shupavu Uliwadia wakati wa kuimarisha misuli naye Stephen Kabiru hakukawia kutoa mwelekeo. Wengi walijikakamua. Ila kunao walioshindwa kustahimili mazoezi. It is uh, exciting that we got uh, we got uh, people who are supporting us. We got uh, the county referral hospital uh, that is Narok County government ili tusaidia beyond zero where the screening is done the cervical cancer screening breast cancer screening and we are also doing prostate screening um, we also have medication hospital with us here uh, they are helping us diagnose diabetes hypertension and they are also doing a body mass index for all the people who are coming for the tests. Huduma hii ni ya bure kabisa. Tulipishi chochote. Tunafanya tests kadhaa. na tuko na madaktari wetu hapa ambao wamekuja kutoa huduma ya bure kwa wananchi na wahudumu wa kanisa hili la Seventh Day Adventist. Madumu ni ya kuandaa warsha ya kutoa matibabu hayo ya bure ilikuwa kuhamasisha wa Kenya kukumbatia uzoefu wa kusaka uchunguzi au kupimwa hali ya magonjwa sugu hasa saratani. Uh, shughuli hii iko na umuhimu mkubwa kwa sababu uh, mwanzo uh, kansa umekuwa ni ugonjwa ambao una, una, una sumbua sana, unaua watu wengi umetusumbua sana. Na lakini madaktari wanatuambia kwamba ugonjwa huo ukiweza kunaswa na upatwe mapema kabla hujaenda stages. Wanasema una stages kama nne. Ukinaswa ukiwa stage 1, stage 2 ni rahisi kutibiwa na upone na uweze kukaa maisha ambao ni normal. Taabu ni ya kwamba haiwezi patikana kabla eh, haiwezi patikana kama hupimwi. Eh, ukigoja tu mpaka wakati science zitajionyesha itakuwa imeenda stage kama stage 4 na mara nyingi ikifika hiyo stage hata ukitibiwa itakuwa tu ni ile tu ya kufanya uishiishi lakini inakuwa imeenea sana. Kwa hivyo shughuli hii ni muhimu kwa sababu ugonjwa huu wa kansa ukiweza kupatikana mapema utaanza matibabu hapo na hapo utaweza kupona na siku zako za kuishi zitakuwa nyingi 
na utaishi maisha ya kawaida kama kila mtu kama mtu mwingine yote currently cancer cases are on the surge and that uh, prompted as a health ministry in our church to consider uh, uh, giving our members a health education which we did yesterday and we mobilized them so that they can come today for the screening uh, because we are being encouraged even from the government and the policies that are being um, given out in government that we should do screening to prevent um, deaths, early deaths of our cancer. Hofu ya umaskini na maangaiko ya kutofuta tiba ni bayana. Kama kanisa, tumeona washirika wetu wengi wakiwa na shida ya kiafya tumefanya michango mingi kugaramia matibabu na tukaona kwamba labda uh, wengi wetu atutambui kwamba tuko na shida ya kiafya kwa mapema so ndio tukaamua kwamba kama kanisa tutafute wale ambao ni wataalam katika field hiyo ya matibabu watufanyie examinations za mapema na kwamba kama tuko na shida tuweze kujitambua na kutafuta matibabu ya haraka. Aidha familia zilihimizwa kuweka kipaumbele matibabu na uwekaji sawa sawa wa afya ya kiakili kwa watoto na watu wazima ya mkini msongo wa mawazo haibagui umri. Mwezi wa tano, kila mwaka tunakuwa na mwezi wa kuhamasisha washiriki kuhusu mental health na tuliweza kutamatisha uh, mahubiri yetu siku ya jana na mafundisho kuhusiana na mental health that was yesterday katika mahubiri na pia katika mafundisho ya sanane tuliweza kuwa na very uh, productive and interactive health talk concerning mental health tuliweza kuwazungumzia the causes of mental health the signs and symptoms of mental health predisposing causes of mental health, treatment of mental health, and how we can also prevent mental illnesses. We realize that katika, uh, in our community, katika jamii, ugonjwa wa kiakili, inaadhiri watu wengi sana, na kuanzia watoto wetu wata wakiwa shuleni, unakuta mtoto uh, anakuwa na ugonjwa wa kiakili, unakuta hata watoto wadogo kiwazungumzia na kuambia, niko na stress. Isitoshe. Wote waliojiwa baada ya kushiriki vipimo vya saratani waliwashauri wananchi wasiogope shughuli hiyo ya mkini ni raisi na isiyo duru. Nimepimwa matiti, nimepimwa na safiko kanza, nimepatikana niko sawa. Saa ya muhimu na shukuru sababu masiku ya huku nyuma unakuwa mgonjwa na ujui kama uko mgonjwa ukienda kuenda sasa hospitali kupimwa unapatikana uko mgonjwa na hiyo ugonjwa imeenda mbali sasa ni ili ujue mapema ukipatikana uko nayo uanze matibabu najua ikiwa stage ya kwanza kuna kupona ikiwa stage ya ine, ya tatu ine, hapo hakuna matumaini nashukuru kwa hao wote wenye walipanga hii mpango na kutuita tuje huku leo tukapate ambao kushughulikiwa kila mtu ajue hali yake vila ako na naambia wenzetu wenye hawajafika nao waharakishe wafike ili wapate kujua kila mtu apate kujua hali yake ya kanza ajue kama ako sawa mimi nimeweza kufanywa hiyo screening ya ya ya, ya kansa, na nimepatikana kwamba niko sawa uh, i think uh, nimeona umuhimu wa kufanya hii after every like two, three years nitakuwa ninakuja kufanywa hiyo test and I'll encourage other people waweze kukuja Daktari ametuambia mtu yote mwanaume ambaye amefika takriban miaka 45 kwenda juu ni vizuri aweze kufanywa hiyo screening. Nimefanywa screening ya ya prostate cancer na nimeona ni kitu kimeenda smooth. Sijaona kama ni, ni, ni shughuli ama ni examination ambayo mtu anafaa ku, kuogopa. It is something that's very easy. Something that takes a, a so little time and um, it's a friendly examination nashukuru mungu kwamba nimefanywa leo sijaifanywa siku nyingine na i'm happy about it mazoe ya kujipalishe bora ili kuzuia magonjwa au kusaidia uponyaji wa haraka yalipigiwa debe wakati unaposema mtu wako healthy sio tu healthy physically but also spiritually mentally and even physically
not only merely absence of disease. Sio kusema ya kwamba hakuna ugonjwa kwa mwili ndio sema mtu yuko healthy. But katika kiakili lazima pia mtu aweze kuwa ako na afya ya kiakili. Na mwisho pia tukaweza kuzungumzia kuhusu mambo ya afya bora, afya bora kuhusiana na mambo ya chakula ya kwamba tunastahili kukula a well balanced diet katika vyakula um, vyetu tukaweza kuwaelezea eh, jinsi ambavyo mtu anastahili kukula chakula kuhusiana na matunda kuhusiana na mago, ma, ma, uh, chakula ambacho kinaleta nguvu mwilini kinazuia nguvu magonjwa na pia chakula vyakula ambavyo vinajenga mwili kwa jumla kwa hivyo ninafurahia sana jinsi ambavyo kanisa letu liko na mpangilio kama huo na tunaendelea kuomba ya kwamba tuendelee kufanya hivyo katika makanisa mengine na pia tunawaalika makanisa mengine na hata wananchi kwa jumla katika mahudhurio ya mafundisho kama hayo mamia ya watu walishiriki vipimo mbalimbali vya afya huku watu kumi wakishauriwa kusaka ushauri zaidi kutoka wataalamu wa afya baada ya kupimwa siku hiyo Mimi ni Mzalendo Kimboi, mkurugenzi wa idara ya mawasiliano katika kanisa la Adventista wa Sabato la Narok New Life, mjini Narok, kaunti ya Narok.